We're looking at the Oppo Reno6 5G. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. This phone just came in this morning, so I'm bringing it to you first thing. Even Chu here is excited to see the phone in the flesh. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the phone. We're going to be looking at what the deal is about this new release. We're also going to be doing a camera tour and some sample shots. So let's not dilly dally. Unboxing time. Oppo Reno 6. 5G. So on the sides, we have plain branding. Up here, it tells us that I have the Stellar Black version with an 8 gig, 128 gig configuration. Same thing on the back, and with easy access to the Google apps you need most. That's a nice matte box. On this sleeve, we have. SIM tool. It's a nice round one in true Oppo fashion. You have some paperwork and a jelly case. Now this is pretty interesting because look at the edges of this case. It's flat. We have the phone, but as with any unboxing, we'll check what else is in the box. There is a USB-C charging cord, a power brick, and surprise! USB-C earphones. Onto the phone, a few selling points for this new Reno. You have a bokeh flare portrait video, AI highlight video, ultra night video, plus live HDR, ultra slim retro design, a 65 watt SuperVOOC 2.0 charging capability, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Mm, just by holding this now, I like the feel of this phone. <gasps> Look at the texture. Hey! Nice! Okay, so I have to admit that coming from last year's rainbow-like matte Reno 5, I wasn't so happy about the fact that this is the black one I wanted, the better version like the rainbow type one. But hey, this looks really good too. It's not just the plain black, like that texture is almost like it's shiny. No, sparkly? No, it's just, it just is really matte and the light shines on it really nice. No smudges at all. Okay, I really like this. That just looks classy, huh? I like how the camera module is like the same color. It's almost as if it's a skin. It's part of this whole look. And yeah, those are three cameras on the back. You have the Oppo branding at the bottom here. I mean, the edges are flat. I know it sort of looks and feels familiar, if you know what I mean, but also, not gonna lie, I like the feel of this. I mean, I am learning more and more that I like boxy phones. This is not as thin as the previous Renos, but feels very nice and compact. On the right side, there is a power button. Bottom gives you speakers, USB-C port, and a SIM tray. You got some dual SIM action over there. On the other side, some volume rockers, and yeah, that's it. Let's power it up, and in the meantime, you know what it is. It's time for a montage. I usually set up every phone that I test out as new, but I did something different and tried to transfer from my older Oppo phone, the Find X3 Pro, to the Oppo Reno 6 5G. Oppo's phone clone did the job, I just needed to scan a QR code, pick out what I wanted to copy over, and this can include messages or your phone book. I had lunch, and when I came back, it was all done. Everything was on my phone, including my always-on display settings, which was... Pretty convenient, TBH. So aside from being a 5G device, this thing has RAM expansion settings which allows you to use available ROM as virtual RAM. Pretty interesting. Right, let's do it. Camera tour time. So I love the moving wallpaper on these Oppo phones. 
let's get to the camera i may have moved it there because like you saw we cloned this phone so i didn't have to set it up from scratch and yeah we have photos we have wide 1x 2x 5x why is it focusing on my camera 10x and up until 20x and then you have google lens you have the beauty mode that's just a toggle from zero to a hundred up here flash settings hdr settings you have ai you have your different filters and on the filters you have original fresh a bunch of other things Ooh, that's a lot and then up here you have aspect ratio timer settings turning on or off the 64 megapixel shooter so again the main camera is a 64 megapixel shooter but these phones today they use pixel binning to create smaller and in theory better photos though if you really want to shoot in 64 megapixels this is where you turn that toggle on or off on the right we have a portrait mode and you have beauty mode down here you have different cool bokeh style so there's ai color portrait which just see that now when it detects my face you see it move because the phone is actually covering my face in the mirror but when it does detect my face it shows it like it colors me in and then you have bokeh flare portrait this is a feature i want to try these bokeh settings sort of make you will look like you're shooting via a dslr or something like that and then you have all other filters up here you also have your bokeh settings we've seen that before in oppo phones you have timer and then you have even more settings on the right under more you have dual view video and that can do 1x 2x 5x up until 10x there is a beauty mode at the lower right and i know you can switch this around there you go and even change the grid around so i can do round ooh, and move that Ooh, nice and i can do zooms and stuff as well even on here and there's also a rectangle <laughs> you also have a slow-mo mode and it can do up until 960 fps that's on 720 on 1080 you can do up until 480 fps and then you have motion detection you can do 1x 2x 3x well up until 3x it seems you have time lapse mode 1x 2x 5x <laughs> 10x can you do why it doesn't seem like it there is a hyper lapse mode this is pretty cool so you can shoot movie time-lapse videos like this and then you can also change settings 10x 60x 120x 480x and even 960x under more you also have movie mode more and more phones are getting the movie mode and this is just a manual video shooter which is a great thing for people who are getting into mobile filmmaking you also have a steady mode on here you can use the different um cameras you can take out the settings but also all the different toggles you can add a grid aside from that there is a pro expert mode which is basically the same thing manual settings but this time for photos and this is up until 10x as you can see is there a wide it doesn't seem like there's a wide and then you have an extra hd mode you can do 1x 2x 5x up until well up until 5x you have flash settings filters and the timer up here you also have a pano mode a text scanner always useful macro mode is in here so photograph four centimeters away for best results you have a stickers okay you guys know i like stickers you see my crown of flowers huh no wait there <laughs> So it works even when zoomed in. You also have Soul Loop templates. Now, if you don't know what Soul Loop is, it's an editing app by Oppo and it's honestly pretty useful. Here you can shoot really, really cute videos for social media. So whether they be stories or reels or TikToks, like there are already templates you can choose from. And that, <laughs> you see that? So you can do videos, photos, you can just add the clips here. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's pretty useful. Something you should look into if you want to level up your social media game. Let's move on to the other side. We have video and you have wide. 
1x, 2x, 3x, no 5x, sorry. <laughs> and then up until 10x video, you have a beauty mode toggle here. There's also an ultra steady mode. As you can see, that crops in a bit. You have AI video, you have bokeh on video. Ooh, you see that? You see how the camera is now blurred? On video, you also have the different filters and then under settings, we can check that you can shoot up until 4K 30 FPS. You also have all other settings up here. And then the last feature, the night mode, and you can do wide, 1X, 2X, 5X, up until 10X. You have a tripod mode. You have size settings, timer settings, and even more settings. And now, Onto the selfies. Ooh, that's a lot of beauty mode. So good to see there is beauty mode on the night mode, but for me, I do like just a little bit of smoothening and I toggle everything back. So those are actually my beauty mode settings. Like I always say, the beauty mode is great to use just like makeup to enhance the real you, but guys, flaws and all, that's normal and never be ashamed of that. So here we go. Yeah, I have a great big pimple. That's fine. You have flash settings, size settings, timer settings, and this is all on night mode. On video selfie, you have flash settings, steady mode on selfie video, something that I like. You have AI, you have bokeh on selfie video. If you can see, it literally just blurred my background right there. You have different filters as well. And finally, you can shoot up until 1080p. On photo, you have your beauty mode again. So the only thing I don't like is how the beauty mode settings don't carry over to the different modes though so I have told Oppo about it hopefully they do something you have flash settings HDR settings you have the different filters as well you have timer settings and then you can do aspect ratio and under settings you have shooting methods again my favorite way to take my selfies and then portrait selfie gives you the same beauty modes you can adjust the bokeh you have your different filters timer settings as well and then we are back to more and yeah that was our quick camera tour let me show you some sample shots That was our first look at the Oppo Reno 6 5G. I gotta give it to Oppo. I've been liking the Reno Lions form factor lately. The very minimal, stylish, sleek phones that they've been coming up with have been really nice. Of course, it's not a full review. This is just our first look. So let me know down in the comment section below what you'd like to know about this phone. If a camera vlog test is something you'd like to see, put them in the comments. Right, that's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, you can find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you guys, those are my only official accounts. They're usually linked in my profiles. People have been DMing me because there have been fake TikTok accounts propping up with my face on it. That's not me. Please do not open or click any link from them. And yes, my giveaway is still ongoing. I'll link it down in the description box below as well. If you like this video, also please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Chuchi says bye-bye. Okay, she doesn't, but...